In my previous review, ASRock's Desk Mini X600 didn't meet my performance expectations. My test was simple. Benchmark the desktop processor against the mobile CPU variant with the same integrated graphics, same DDR5 SOTA memory and speed. The Desk Mini consistently had worse results on the graphics side, sometimes by double digit percentages when it should have been in the same ballpark. There was much speculation in the comments that the memory wasn't fast enough, even though it was the same memory. The brand of memory wasn't good enough, even though it was the same memory. And there was a difference in timings, even though it was the same memory, and so on. It was a straightforward comparison and the testing methodology was sound. So instead of discussing it further with experts in the comments, I decided to go straight to the source. One thing you may not know is there is little to no access for reviews to those actually responsible for creating the product. It's reviewer, PR or marketing contact and then there is a big chasm in between and the engineer is far off somewhere inaccessible. At least this has been my experience over the years. Luckily my marketing contact at ASRock is great. After I mentioned my performance problems with the X600 he passed on my query and benchmarks to an X600 engineer. A few weeks passed with no response and I thought, well, I guess that's that. And then suddenly I received a message that there's a firmware and BIOS update to address the issue and I should retest it and report back. The difference is pretty big. The GPU has seen double digit gains and even the CPU shows a slight increase. So here's another video comparing the new BIOS update to the old and we'll get to it right after this message. The ESUS Data Recovery Wizard app is very simple to use and can help you recover your lost data, whether it's on your internal drive, USB storage, or SD card. It also has support for repairing damaged photos and videos. Check out the free trial in the video description to find out what it can recover on your storage drives. All right, I've already done a review of the Desk Mini X600. Everything there covers it in great detail. This video is a follow up to see how the new BIOS and firmware update has changed overall performance. So let's start by hitting the benchmarks and then we'll do some side by side game comparisons. Single core Cinebench consistently saw a slight improvement and the average of the new BIOS is 3% ahead. In multi-core we see the same thing, this time around 2%. Not a big improvement, but it's something. Geekbench also sees a slight gain but not as much as Cinebench. Video encoding comes back with a low single digit percentage improvement as does AV1. So clearly the CPU benefits from the firmware and BIOS updates. Not massive, but it's welcome. 3D Mark is where we saw a sizable drop previously in score over what it should be with a Radeon 780Mi GPU. After the new BIOS, 5600MHz beats the old BIOS with memory at 6000MHz. And the overall increase with the 5600 memory is 10%, while 6000 MHz sees almost the same gain, this time 9% and we get the best AMD Firestrike score for integrated graphics so far, as you'd hope for slightly faster memory speed than the others. Time Spy, big gains too, 12% at 5600 and 9% at 6000. Again the best score thanks to the slightly faster memory speed over the mobile chips which are running at 5600. Something new I'm adding for this video is 3 d Mark Steel Nomad. I apologize, I only did it after the updates, so there's no comparison here. It'll still be a while before this chart is useful, but here are the numbers if you're curious. Okay, so that's the benchmarks. The gains in both CPU and GPU with the integrated graphics is pretty much what I expected from the start, so I'm happy we're seeing it now. Okay, let's check out the games side by side to see how much they've improved compared to the old BIOS. I noticed the games where the GPU isn't being fully utilized didn't see any or much improvement. That includes Valorant and Dota 2. Counter-Strike 2 on the other hand sees a huge boost, with GPU utilization now 99%. It stays above 144 FPS most of the time.
For some reason, I'm having issues capturing audio in League of Legends when in full screen mode, so there's no sound. But there's another nice, noticeable boost in frames with the new BIOS. And there's a huge difference in GTA 5 of around 15 to 20 frames extra using the new BIOS. Tekken 8 couldn't hold 60 FPS before, but now it does no problem. Another double digit improvement in Forza Horizon 5. And just like GTA 5, Robocop sees a massive increase. The iGPU is again better utilized. So, having seen all that, there's only one conclusion. The initial BIOS and firmware release was balked. After updating, the issue has been fixed and I think comparing to the mobile CPUs was the way to find out this issue. So that's cool, makes it a much more appealing product. Oh, and while idle power draw hasn't changed, the maximum recorded went up by 12 watts, while the max CPU temp remained the same. All right, so how do you update if you're on an older BIOS than 2.01? First, head to the product page. I've linked it in the video description. Go to the support tab and click BIOS. Here you can see ASRock says you need to update the firmware before updating the BIOS. Download both and click the EFI method for instructions on how to update the firmware. Basically, you need to prepare an EFI USB flash drive with the files provided. Then boot it without using secure boot. Select your USB drive from the list available. Navigate to the flash file using commands and then let it do its thing. Once that's finished, you can power the mini off and on again and head to the BIOS. Update to the 2.01 file through the user interface there. And that's it. So, big thanks to Azrock for listening to my feedback and getting back to me with the updates. That now concludes my review of the Disk Mini X600. While performance issues are now fixed, there are some pros and cons you should be aware of which you can find out about in the review right here. Cheers!